when you start defragler you get presented with this window and it will show the attached drives uh, in this case I will pick this one and you have a couple of actions you can perform you can check the drive for errors you can defrag the free space and you can defrag the free space and allow the fragmentation you can set the priority you can defrag a file, a folder, the complete drive now uh, what I will do is check the drive for errors I'll pause whilst it does this, it doesn't take very long but it goes through three phases of verification when it's verified you'll get this pop-up window telling you whether any problems are detected or not so the verification is complete, no problems detected the next thing to do is to analyze the disk and you can see the progress in this window up here, you can also watch the analysis up here this doesn't take very long at all when the analysis is complete you will see how many fragmented files there are, the space it occupies and how many fragments you can then view the files you can do that either by clicking down there as I did or you can click on file list you can select which ones to defragment or you can quite simply select all of them and if we select just those and then defrag them and this doesn't take very long at all, this is quite a fast operation so you can pick your specific files and folders that you want to defrag without having to defrag the whole of the hard drive and that in itself is a major advantage because it gives you greater control over it you can run this program from a flat USB flash drive just install it on there and then run it on any computer and it just makes it completely portable it's used for personal use or for corporate use so any Windows version from 2000 onwards it's ideal and just let it run it works wonders it's probably worth getting a registry defragger as well which I've covered in my blog and that can make a big difference and free up quite a bit of space now the defrag is complete and it tells you that up here you can see the fragments are down to one which is normal and if you pick a couple of small ones and defrag them it doesn't take very long at all it's very quick to go through it, defrag it and it's a lot quicker and more efficient than the Windows defrag uh, one of the drawbacks is that you can't set this at a specific time to run, you have to run it manually but it's still worth doing and it's a good little program given that it's portable and the versions it covers and it's free and this, it's brought to you by the same people that brought you CCleaner and Recover and CCleaner is an amazing program and this one is just as good and for freeware it does what it says it does it defrags your files or it defrags the whole of your hard drive what have you got to lose give it a try you can find more information more useful programs on my blog at free PC security google search and you'll find it or go to codojo.wordpress.com I hope this has been of some use to you